Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. Today, we're going to take a look at the Car Wash Cannon Soap Foam Blaster, as seen on TV, 1999. You can find these in the center aisle of grocery stores, Walmarts, even Amazon. And the reason we're taking a look at this unit on the channel today is because I've had a few questions from customers that do not want the hassle of dragging out a pressure washer and all the equipment for a proper wash. Although I highly recommend it, uh, this may be a good substitute. So we'll take a look at this one here today. I know there are many other versions of this that are of higher quality, but this you could pick up just about anywhere. And for under $20, it's worth a quick look. When we slap this thing together, we're going to take this as well as the MTM foam cannon that I have laying on its side in the top right corner, a more professional unit for a pressure washer, a little bit of uh, a pricier unit it can be found on Amazon and other sites and we'll take them out and I'll compare the performance of them both. Unboxing the unit, we can find the foam nozzle, a mixing head, a quick connector, a hand grip, a siphon pipe, 32 ounce bottle canister, and the quick connect adapter. Now, we're going to use the Apex Auto Wash. Uh, something to take note, the canister as big as it is, they only want you to fill soap or concentrate up to the indicated line on the bottom of the canister right there. The rest fill up with warm water. Connected to the mixing head is a long draw tube that has a little bit of a filter on the bottom of it so it doesn't pull up dirt up into the head unit. A dial up on top with some decent tactile feedback gives you uh, soap water mix concentration from zero up to five. We have a quick disconnect hand grip with adjustment for the handle and also a lock setting. They give you a washer with a screen attached, again, keeping dirt out of the head unit. The foam nozzle tube just slides into uh, slots on the front of the unit. There's no click or locking mechanism. It takes a little bit of pressure to get it in there, so it will stay. Overall, a very light unit, and be careful with it. Of course, for anything under $20, the materials, they're going to be cheap as well. Should be ready, let's head outside. We'll start on the first setting, which is zero. So get the hose connected to the unit. Make sure everything's tight. Something I missed started to leak here at the beginning and we just uh, tighten everything down. Don't over tighten. It's easy to over tighten anything on this unit. Again, the materials are cheap. I couldn't recommend any of the first few speed settings really for anything. I mean, you want as much soap coming through uh, and foaming onto the vehicle as possible. This is just too watered down and runny. It's not giving the soap uh, any time to dwell and do its work without running off the side of the vehicle, a complete waste. Nonetheless, when you're finished foaming up your vehicle, use the quick disconnect and remove the mixing head as well as the reservoir itself. And what seems to me to be the best part of this whole unit here is the hand trigger.
Let's turn it to a higher setting, which should give us more soap that mixes in with the water passing through the unit. Let's see if that foam is any thicker. Again, what we want is it to stick to the side long enough so it can dwell and do its job of encapsulating, lifting the dirt so you can rinse it free. We have a bit of improvement, still a bit too runny for me. Let me give you though a quick tip uh, of how to use these units. First, I'll give you the first person view of what we get out of the unit when it's on the highest setting. One of the best ways to utilize something like this, I believe, is just to grab a wash mitt and wash as you keep flushing it. Wasting a whole, whole lot of soap, but I believe you're wasting a whole lot of soap with any foam cannon. Uh, I use the foam cannon when I'm doing a maintenance wash on a coated vehicle or a freshly corrected vehicle just to do everything I possibly can to eliminate love marks. Uh, do they work uh, slightly uh, with just a, a little bit of improvement cutting back on the love marks, but... When you have a dark color, anything helps. On a lightly soiled vehicle or a vehicle we're going to pull in to do some paint correction, sometimes we just cut to the chase and do a rinseless wash or I pull my bucket out with multiple mitts and go to town. This is how much of the solution was used so far. Again, only the bottom part was filled. So we're basically cutting it five to one. Now, what I wanna do is just fill the damn thing up with concentrate, hook it back up and see if we have a difference. Uh, not much of a difference at all. So it has its limitations. And I believe I will repeat the best part of this whole thing is the hand grip. Now, for those of my customers on the fence, let me show you what an NTM foam cannon connected to the Max Shine Max 5000. 5000 PSI, um, 10.5 gallons per minute. This is what it should look like. This perfect mix indeed is giving the shampoo enough time to dwell and do its job. Once again, emulsifying, lifting the dirt, and grit so you can rinse it free. That way it does not get caught between the wash media, your wash mitt, and the surface of the vehicle and cause the marring, the swirling, and love marks. So much more satisfying, a little bit more effective. Uh, this again is in theory. Is it doing that much more than just rinsing thoroughly with your pressure washer and going right to the bucket wash? Not a huge difference, but when it comes to a coated or freshly corrected car, I have to repeat, I'll do absolutely everything I can to uh, cut back and avoid any type of love marks. But this sure is satisfying. Let me know down in the comments section what you have and what you prefer. I know there are better units than the one I picked up here and showed in the video. This was just an example of something you could find just about anywhere. Let me know what you use.
Time for a rating on this channel, and if you don't mind burning through $20, the experience would be a 3 out of 10. That was my experience, and I gave it a 3 out of 10 only because of the grip itself, which has some decent power. This has been Brian from Apex Detail. I'll catch you guys in the next video.